Today we will be playing Centipede. For PlayStation, this is the PlayStation version of Centipede. When the world came down, the dominion had come to life. We built the future. But we needed a hero to fly. Of course, there's story in Centipede. <laughs> people force him to do this. So is that canon? When you play the original Space Invaders in the arcade, are you actually that kid? That makes me want to play the original arcade um, centipede less. <laughs> now that I know that. <laughs> Frogger for PS1, now we get Nightmare of PS1 centipede. Oh yeah, I did uh, Frogger for PS1. Forgot about that. There I am. You can do this, right? Ooh. This is gonna be fun and excitement. Oh, you can strafe. Strafing, strafing. So this is the same as Doom, then. Same game. Clearly. to leave comments such as pew 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 because there's going to be a lot of that what's up spiteful frog hey mad stalker yeah you're at the beginning qbert on ps1 is amazing PlayStation, um, X Station. I already have a thing about this that I wish. So, like, you can do this, but you have to hold down triangle, so. And then that's like a hop. I feel like. That button, you should be able to do that with like R2 or something. So I already have a thing about the controls that I don't really like. Because it makes me not want to go into this mode. Because now I have to hold now I have to hold it like this. See what I'm doing? This ridiculous motion that I'm having to do to to be in that view. It should be it should be the uh, like the R. That would be much more comfortable. Maybe you can change the controls, I don't know. Or they expect you, maybe they expect you to not really use that unless like maybe that's all like a once in a while kind of thing. Because if, if I have that on all the time, I'm gonna get killed because I can't see it. This is so much better because you can actually see everything. So maybe that's them telling you, uh, don't use that other view. That's just for show. That's what I think. Alright, we got an item. So how do I make how do I make this bridge go down? Go. Give me this, give me it, give me it, give me it. Ah. Oh my god. 
guys have beaten this game before? All of you? Oh, okay. I forgot you guys have beaten every single PlayStation game, right? There could be some people, some, oh no, no. Couldn't even see anything. I can get extra lives or what? so good. <laughs> Lime60, thanks for the sub. Challenge Mario Land, no death, no hit. Uh, no hit? Hmm, maybe. Not a bad idea. I, I, I do want to do some Mario Land, actually, coming up. I have some Mario Land hacks, so. You beat this game 1,000 years before you were born. That's just because you're so good, Gravity Gunner. Mm -hmm. Do they make me enter this every level? <laughs> Thanks Raptor48 for that sub. Do I like this more than the original Centipede? Well, first I need to play it. That'd be pretty fun. So I've been playing the original Centipede my whole life. This, um, I've tried this before, but um, so far I've been playing this seven minutes. It would be pretty funny if I decided, oh yeah, yeah, I like this better. It only takes seven minutes for me to decide. I mean, hell, you know what? It, you can do 3D mode in this, so clearly this is better, because that's all that matters. You like the cover art? You've never seen this version? Yeah, where's all the people playing Centipede for PS1 on Twitch? What's going on? Do you know what else takes seven minutes? What? Some, somebody speed run? My speed run of Mickey Mouse campaigns. That's what takes seven minutes, Mike. Cool. Oh, so the power up disappears if you're not quick enough. Great. Also, what is this thing over here? Is this a person? Oh, yeah, did I just get an extra life? Thanks, buddy! <laughs> what does this do? What is this? Uh, whoa, oh! Does that stay forever? Oh. So now I have a special item. Limited, but... Thank you. 
You can't, like, get back up? Seriously, is this like I have to die? I can't get anywhere now. I guess I, I mean, I could kill myself here. I guess I'm gonna do that. Will they put me back? Okay, I guess I had to do that. If you fall down, you're just, that's stupid. Then how about when I fall down, just kill me then. Or there's something I don't know. There seemed like there was no way back up. The leaf might have been something. Oh, I see it. There's a, that leaf is going up and down. Oh, now I see it. I didn't see that. Damn it. <coughs> All right, well, now I know. I was gonna say. I'm sure there's like a quicker way to get through these, but like, I got it by now. Alright, go, 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 go! Ah! Is that it? So now I'm at like a haunted house? Two of nine. Oh. Well, I guess, can I go back into these levels to do better? There was nine guys on that. Jeez. All right, I guess I'll search for these people better. Does it matter? <laughs> lift, lift, leaf, leaf, lift. Any plans on streaming Star Trek pinball? Uh, like the PC one? Maybe. Or what do you mean? Like an actual pinball machine? <laughs> I used to have the, like the 90s Star Trek pinball. The DOS game, yeah, I had that. Maybe, maybe someday. I don't know though, like I can never play pinball for like that long. Maybe, we'll see. What is the weakness of Aunt May? Aunt May likes to go for star crystals. Aunt May. But A-N-T. Who, who is Aunt May? In, in Centipede. <laughs> is, it th is it this thing? That's hilarious. Those are death mushrooms, right? I touch them, I die. I assume. Okay. Uh, oh. Ah. I want to see this from here. See, like that? Is that a skull on top of that? Okay. 
the, the power-ups last, like, two seconds. Come on. Oh, shield. All right. Can that stay until I get hit? That would be nice. It's going to be like a limited time thing. Shields last 10 seconds. supposed to be getting these houses too. I guess I didn't realize that. I don't know. Destroy the houses or something. Huh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Thanks Kayla Kilda Gannon for the tier one sub and cyborg six four seven. Thanks guys. I don't know what Mike needs to do to progress, kill all the enemies, rescue the humans, clear the mushroom. I guess, like, I, I just been like shooting the mushrooms. I guess I should be reading this. Notice the mystic pointers planted in the rivers around the city, whatever that is. Magical devices, which should point in the direction of the centipede's next attack, okay? I guess I, I think I guess I can go back into the previous levels. That's what I'm not doing. Maybe I should be going back to the earlier levels and doing better, getting more of the humans or whatever. The text is gibberish, right? You're a little elf boy with magic wand shooting centipedes on this version. Yeah, no, I know. There's a whole cut. Look, right there, you can see him. So I can blow the buildings up. Should I be, like, doing that? <laughs> or is that bad? Like. Like, are those. Is that my town? Oh my god. It's very bad. Okay. But I thought on the end it shows like buildings. It was like, you got three of 12 buildings or whatever. So how do I get them then? I don't blow them up? Well, what else can I do? This game is just pew pew pew. Right? So, like, what... How do I get buildings, then? You know what I mean? Like... It's like, okay, get, get building. Okay, can I touch the buildings? Like... I don't understand. That's why I thought, oh, maybe I blow them up, but I don't know. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't think anybody knows. So like we no, nobody's ever played this game before, Mike. So we don't know. They're like, please play Mario 3 now. Look how slow this is.
completely restarting me every time. pointing this way. jumps on top of me. So am I somewhere different now? I don't even know where I am. Like, are they putting me back at the beginning? Or is this where I was? I have no idea. Oh, great. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, my weapon fell in the water. But I can't go down and get it, of course. Did that guy just destroy my last building? Wait, did it end? I don't understand. Wait, what? Did I beat it? I have no idea what happened. Did I win? Did I lose? <laughs> Is this different? Wait a second. Hold on. Like, if I go all the way... Oh, crap. What, oh, what did I just do? Oh, no. Okay, so you can change the levels. So this is the first level. Eight of eight. So that's what I had. Crack of doom. I'll give you a crack of doom. So there's no buildings on that one? So two, this, so level two is two, two of nine. So I, I'm gonna redo this, and let's see if I can get more guys. How about that? I'm gonna do this like this. Hopefully this sends me to that second level. Did I even do that right? Loading, yeah, maybe. Gothic, thanks for sub, and Walker. Come on. The shooter is a mystical creation of the 
we druids, unfortunately, it can't survive. <sighs> Alright, so if I do that, does it tell me it doesn't tell me what level I'm on? Cool. Oh, this is the one with that leaf. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get more people now. So there was nine people, I think. So let's see if I can get them all. Or, or more of them, at least. Here's, here's one. Hey, hey! Like, I don't get that. I don't know if what I'm doing right now is just for like completionist sake, like just to go back into each level and try to get everything. Or if it's just good enough just to like just get enough and move on. Should be a thing to tell you how many. Should be like you currently have whatever five of nine or something. You currently have seven of nine. Here, give me this. Well, now I know how to get out of here. At least let's see if there's any people down here. I guess not. Get on the leaf. Get on the leaf. Is it going anywhere? It doesn't go... Hey! The leaf elevator doesn't... The leaf lift goes nowhere, though. Maybe that, maybe that was, the, there's two leaf lifts, right? So maybe the other one isn't activated yet because it's too early because I haven't defeated this area. And what is that over there? Is that this thing I can get? Hold on. Oh, oh. I don't have to like be killing every single one of these things, but so like this thing has still not gone down all the way. What else do they want from me? Oh, th oh here we go. This one's down. So once I go over this, maybe now that that elevator start will start going. Let's go. Come on, come on, get up here. Person? No people. Stupid 
rocket. This, these rockets are awful. Oh. There should be like a radar system so you can like know where like the little dudes are. Maybe. The leaf lifts don't work. I know I did terrible on this. Whatever. Alright, let's just go to the next level and see. I don't know. Vile centipedes have invaded our most holy territory where we keep the star crystals. Crystals are used by we to study the dreaded eclipse which awakens the centipedes every century. Be watchful for a new fierce insect who may be able to drain the precious crystals of their energy. Great. Defend the crystals. Okay. Druids will try to help you battle the bugs with their limited magical abilities, but once their power runs out, you will need to transport them to safety with your automatic magic relocator. Oh, yeah. Okay, th so the red guys are my friends. And then I have to, with my automatic magic relocator, where's that? What button's that? I don't see an automatic magic relocator on my... I see square, triangle, start, select. Somebody help me, please. <laughs> 
Someone help me. I think the leaf lift works, but like everything else, they're slow as shit. Dude, they're insanely slow. It wasn't even moving, I don't think. So what am I protecting here? I'm protecting this building, I guess? I don't even know. And then there's these guys. Okay, if I could go get that item. Let me start. So these, these crystals right here. They really look like they're doing a lot, these like druid guys. They're just like standing around jerking off. Look at them. What do they do? They're not doing anything. I haven't seen them attack one bug. They're, they're my friends, huh? Oh, and I'm supposed to pick them up? All right, get in then. So where am I taking them? Maybe they're here. Dude, I don't know. There, they're all in. Take them here. You would think like here, right? I don't know. Hang on, let me use my magic relocator that I don't have. Is that like an automatic thing that you just don't see? Like I touch them and then they get warped back or something? Maybe that's all it means. Oh my god. Um. Dude. What? Start streaming, this is what'll happen to you. 
And if you already stream, you you understand. So like, where am I going? There's nobody left. Oh. Yeah, uh, cause I beat it! That's the best part of the game is that sound effect. Four of four, baby! Oh yeah! Oh, so good! Yeah! Oh, I love Centipede. Seriously, does anybody... Did you guys own this game growing up or anything? Anybody have this? Has anybody here played this? It was Goma. There you go. I should have said it was Goma. Pooh asks, what is a Goomba anyway? Is it related to... To, to who? I thought you said Scooby-Doo for a second. Um, yes. Goomba is a relative of um, Shaggy. I don't know who you're talking about. Does this game make you horny? Um, well, it's Centipede. So what do you think? This <laughs> they play this stream in a mental health college lecture. I think my streams would be... if you, uh, like, I think the top level psychiatrists, psychologists, all that in the world should actually watch like a batch of my streams. I would, I would li like, just to get... You know, like, the, the, the room... It's like the circular room, and then there's the guy in the middle doing surgery. It should be, it, my stream should be in the middle, and there should be like the circle of like psychiatrists. And then I would love to know the outcome. They, they all just have a stamp and it says, insane! <laughs> they all just stamp the thing, and then I get sent away in like a coat. <laughs> You have the normal PC version. Woohoo! Ha ha! Hee hee! Frostonia. They started their assault on a Frostonia near a monastery on the edge of Weedum. Both citizens and druids inhabit the mountains. They need saving from centipedes. It's essential you keep them safe. You mean like on the other levels? You mean do the same? You mean shoot stuff? Like on the other levels? I think that's what that means. Sa save the humans? All right. Defend the igloos. Find talismans. Ooh. You may need to work to get them. No, I don't want to work for anything. Just give it to me for free. I want to use rewind feature. I just want it all for free. I want to be able to put the controller down and not even play, and then the game just beats itself. That seems like fun. Are you hungry, Mike? I can cook something and send it to you by FedEx. How about some, uh, do some, oh, I don't know, about some uh, macaroni and cheese with some ketchup in it, put that in an envelope with one stamp on it, stamp it, send it over. Put a little horseradish in there, too. Mm. Wow. 
Wash it down with some whiskey and some jizz. What's the address? 123 Asshole Lane. You, you should know that already. Right down the street from the Munsters. That's right. That's why I used to live with the Munsters, but they kicked me out. That's why I look like this with these dark circles under my eyes. Did you know that? I used to live with the Munsters. It's true. They kicked me out and they said, no, go play video games. Get out of here. It was a sad day. You think I can get this thing? It won't get it to me. that I can go on, I guess I'm about to find out. Nope. This is an incline. You have to be here and then go up this. Do that, okay. Couldn't even tell. Dude, those graphics, I couldn't even tell. What up? <laughs> All right. Wow. Quality. Uh-oh, here come the snowflakes. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I thought that was a item to get. It was an enemy. Okay, great. Ah. That's nice. Oh, it's a talisman. No, it's an extra life. I'm sure I could just go right now. Like, by the way, I know that, like, I could go, probably, like, go across that, but I like to shoot every single mushroom. Leave no mushroom alive, I say. That's the way I play. So if you're watching this later and you're like, why is he shooting every mushroom? Because I want to. Oh, are those the igloos? Oh, dude, I'm killing my own igloos. I didn't know what they looked like. Ah, no, start this over. Dude, I didn't even know what it was. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I am very upset. That's all right, we'll redo every level. More than once. So, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We'll be playing every level at least 10 times. I have to make sure that I shoot every mushroom in the game, kill every enemy, get every human, everything. I am now the centipede PlayStation completionist. Oh, my God. 
No. Oh. Oh no. I shot the Eskimo guy and he turned into death. Aww. I feel so bad now. Sorry, Mr. Eskimo man. I did it on purpose. Don't tell anybody. Alright, um... Where to now? Can I go in this or something? Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Uh. Aha. I feel like they never give me items anymore. And why is it? Is that like a Wi Fi symbol? Does that make any sense? Is this little spaceship I go around in, this little pod racer I go around in, it's operated by Wi Fi? Like, honestly, like, what does that mean? Oh, crap. You do what is that? Is that a bad thing? I'm going into it. Oh, that was the end of the level. Dude, I didn't even know what the hell I was looking at. I didn't get any of the special thing. I didn't know that that was the end of the level. It's the first one that looked like that. This game's great. <laughs> that kid Craig, thank you very much for the sub. And B Falcon as well. Thank you very much. Mike will get the world record for most mushrooms killed in PS1 Centipede. Ah, that's what I'm trying to do. World record. Wi-Fi network available. Yeah. Man who buys drowned cats play, pays for wet pussy. I guess that would be true. <laughs> you love the Atari PS1 remakes. You gotta try Breakout with a wheel and spinner. Wait, what? What are you talking about? The Atari PS1 remake? Are they on? Like, it's like a PlayStation game. Which ones do you mean? You're just talking about, what, like Breakout on PS1? There's a Breakout on PS1? Dude, what, what's the controller? With a wheel and a spinner? Is that what it's called? Dude, I'm gonna look it up right now. I don't think I have that controller. Maybe I do, hang on. Oh, dude, wait. Oh. I don't have that controller. <laughs> okay. Is that the only, like, uh, paddle kind of thing on PS1? I feel like I have some kind of PS1 paddle thing somewhere. I have to look through my controllers. That's interesting. I'll have to look at that. I'll mess with that, like, break out and get, like, a paddle thing going. I'll figure that out. It only works with three games out of 7,000 PS1 games. What are the other ones besides Breakout? Good comment, by the way, Brute uh, McGee. Did I ever find a good dial spinner for Kaboom? Yeah, the Atari 2600 paddles. I wouldn't play Kaboom if it wasn't on 2600. What do you mean, like, play it on the mister with a paddle? Uh, if that's what you mean... 
See, the thing about the paddle controller on the Atari is it stops. I would have to find a special one that like stops. It doesn't go all the way around, and you wouldn't want Kaboom to have that. So again, you wouldn't. Um, I don't think you would like want that. Hey Mike, how was the con? I was gonna go, but can't drive. What con? What are you talking about? PS1 Breakout. It's not great, but you had fun with it. Oh, it's not great. It's the only paddle PS1 controller. Oh, you know what? Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Nintendo 64. Does Nintendo 64 have some kind of like paddle thing? Hang on a second. There is another system that has like a paddle thing that I'm thinking of, and I can't, I don't know what system it is. Oh well. Um, Alright, I'm gonna do this next level. Mike was gone for a week because he went to a con. No, I didn't. I didn't go to any fucking convention. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Legend tells of a lost monastery up on the mountains. Remember the time you did the thing? Uh, hmm. Yes. I do remember that. Same devs who work on Breakout. What, this game? The Fisting Convention. Oh, yes! For the past uh, week. Uh, dude, I don't know how I forgot. I just... Pff, flew right out of my head. I, for the last six days, I've been at the Fisting Convention. Getting my asshole fisted. It was, I, I just like, I blocked that out of my memory. It was, it was so great. It was so overwhelmingly great that I, ha I, I had to block it out because otherwise I wouldn't even be able to pay attention to anything right now. That's right, I was at the fisting convention for the past uh, week. Anyone, anybody who wanted to just uh, shove their whole arm up my ass. It's great. I'll see you guys there next year as well. Oh, sh oh what? Come on. Come on. Where is the fisting convention? Oh, uh, in some guy's house. Just somewhere, just somewhere. If you asked me to get back there, I wouldn't be able to. I'm surprised you even know about it. Oh, were you the one with that glove on? That's why he knows about it. Okay. I remember you. How could I forget? Ah, 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 ah. Get out of 
out here. I haven't been using the strafing very much. I know that it's there. I just, I don't know. Probably should be, I guess. Three-way shot. Wi-Fi enabled. How do I kill this thing? Uh, oh, oh, oh! I didn't know I had the rockets. Guess I'll hold on to these rockets for here. God. I was able to shoot that guy. Good. Wi-Fi enabled! Like, now where do I go? I don't even know what to do. Oh, over this bridge. Here we go. Buddy, what is that? I don't even know what I got. Yo, dude, that's a bunch of bull crap. These guys just drop. What am I gonna do? Come on. How do I? I can't. How do I destroy that guy?
No, really, did anybody have this? Who owned this? Look at all this story for this one level. Yeah, man, it's Centipede. Of course it has a lot of story. The centipedes are attacking a small settle settlement of our brethren who have established homesteads on an iceberg. Hopefully the insects won't be smart enough to assault the monastery up on the adjoining mountain or precious star crystals may be threatened. See to it that they are saved. And then we go to the next page of story. I told you no already, Mike. Nope, rented it once. Not me. <laughs> you guys like how I play these games nobody cares about? All right, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, and then we'll come back and we'll play more of this wonderful centipede game that I know everybody's enjoying so much. I'll be back. Here, wait, I got a better one for you. Here's some ice cream cakes that only Carvel makes. They're made fresh every day, cause that's the Carvel way. And while you're at the store, say cookie for some more. And don't forget about, hug me the bear. The friendliest bear. Your participating Carvel dealer also has Hug Me the Bear and Cookie Puss Dolls. You'll love them. Thank you. It's tough getting out of bed To face all the chores ahead Till that aroma comes through When the folder starts to brew The best part of waking up it's Folgers in your cup. Folgers is mountain-grown coffee, and the rich aroma of mountain-grown beans makes Folgers one coffee made with the morning in mind. Now things are feeling right. You see the morning in a whole new light. There's hard work to be done. Another day yet to be won. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Come on along, I'll take you to the lullaby of Broadway. The Hickory and Valley Who, the lullaby of Broadway. And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. Stay at the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail, dinner, and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of all Broadway. Little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. Atari presents its newest star. Vanguard. Just like the arcade. Six zones. Let me show them the mountain zone. Hey, check it out. Get the energy pod. So long, Harley Rockets. Hey, the rainbow zone is my turf. You can shoot in four directions. All right. I'll just breeze to the stripe zone. The wall. The wall. Yeah. But fellas, who destroys the gond? Luther, Luther destroys, destroys the gond. The gond. <laughs> Vanguard is here only from Atari. Now is the perfect time to reserve the all-sports package at Mount Airy Lodge, Pocono Gardens, or Strickland's. Enjoy swimming, tennis, boating, beautiful accommodations, fabulous food, and a special price. Right now, this $110 value is yours for only $75. Call 1-800-441-4410. All you have to bring is your love. Yes? You look like a real jerk. Well, I am a corporate executive. He stops exciting things from happening. So what you doing? Well, Muffy Buffy Biff Jr. and I are going on our Sunday drive. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to play pole position. <laughs>
Steel Belted Radial. Yikes! Strike! Fruit Stripe Gum! It's a yummy, fruity one! Stick a stripe of fun! Put the fly and flip flop! Go a woo a pink pop! Yikes! Strike! Fruit Stripe Gum! A wee really wilder! A ton of fun of mila! A flavor overloader! Wow! The exploder! Yikes! Strike! Fruit Stripe Gum! Men from outer space! Plunk a pop in your face! Fruity flavors in the pack! Gooey gobble! Fun smack! Yikes! Strike! Fruit Stripe Gum and Bubble Gum! <laughs> As usual, these streams are sponsored by Beefaroni. Put your cock in my ass. Today we're playing Centipede for PlayStation 1. As you can see, oh, there's a lot of story involved in Centipede, as usual. Mortal Guy, thank you very much for the sub. All right, let's go to the next level, shall we? Shall we? And Killer WBM also sub, thank you. All right, uh, they're out on the iceberg, meeting with citizens, rescue them from centipedes. All right. Like every other level. Sponsored by Beefaroni, that's right. Mmm. Mmm-mm, good. Is that Campbell's? Mm-mm, good. How many different types of weapons are there for Wally to use? Wally Gator? Who the hell is Wally? <laughs> is that Wally? Who the, hell, who the hell it is? Wally? Wally, Wally and the Beeve? The beaver's been in his sock drawer again, and Wally, Wally's gonna put a bag of rocks into a sock. Remember that episode of Leave It to Beaver? When, when Beaver was asleep? And Wally had a sock with a bunch of rocks in it? And he smashed his head in with it? Remember that one? Oh, wait, wait. That might have been Full Metal Jacket. Nah. Same thing. Good enough. Close enough. Doesn't matter. What did I just get? Whoa. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! I had fire! Now you're pissing me off! Beetleborg, big bad Beetleborg. Was there a Beetleborg game? I feel like there actually might have been. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! Every time I get fire! And they, they, they killed him. Mm. Well, it's definitely getting more difficult. Dude, I couldn't even see you! Really, what 
is the Wi-Fi symbol. I don't understand why there's Wi-Fi. In the PlayStation era, for PS1, you need Wi-Fi to play Centipede. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Somebody explain this to me. Obviously, you need a Wi-Fi signal to play Centipede on PS1. Duh. Is it a warning for something that's dropping from above? Maybe? Is that what it is? Like, I really don't know what it is. Oh. Maybe it actually is Wi Fi somehow. Wally needs good Wi-Fi for his fisting porn. Wally from Leave it to Beaver, that is. the Carvel way. And when you're at the store, see Cookie Puss and more. Don't forget about Hug Me the Bear. The friendliest bear. <laughs> Do you guys like this commentary of this PlayStation game? <laughs> <laughs> the level of me not caring has gone a little too far, I think. Uh, Mike, do you see Waldo? Did I see Waldo at FistCon? <laughs> I couldn't find him. I couldn't find him anywhere. Oh, he was in my ass! That's where he was! Oh, my God! <laughs> actually, I actually, I fucked the wizard in the ass at the convention. Oh, my God. He's like 100 years old now. Boy. And he still goes to the convention. What a legend. What a legend. <laughs> still doing those conventions, even at his age. That's why he's fam that's why he's so famous though. You know? Just a legend. A legend in his own time. Can I go through this now? Or what the hell was that? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. <sighs> um, did that bug kill me? Oh, I can go now. You killed me. Get away from me. Dude. Piece of crap. <laughs> I 
to go back to the moment um, when I decided to stop doing uh, YouTube videos, and I'm like, I'm going to stream instead. I think I should just only stream from now on. Cut to that moment right there, and I would have been like, oh, maybe, maybe I should reconsider. <laughs> Seven years later. Tier 1 sub. By the way, Sankara Stones, if you haven't seen it, check out my Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom live stream from if you like your if you like your stones, check it out. Go check it out. I talk a lot about that during that stream. Do you mean ring throw? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's what it's called. Sounds like me when I finally took a dump after being constipated for a week last month. For a week last month. Last month you were constipated for a week? Eat your fiber. Speedpunk 1996. Soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Then you'll be shitting regularly just like your, your good friend Mike Matei. Be sure to be sure to eat your fiber, ladies and gentlemen. I always I always have tips for your asshole. Uh, tips on cleaning your asshole. Tips tips on regular uh, being able to have a regular bowel movement. That's my main thing here when people come to my streams. The video games are like tenth down the line. Number one is uh, asshole maintenance. Just so you know. Let's continue, shall we? The Jaguar was long dead when this was released. I'll tell you what, though, that's that Tempest game game is uh, is really good. It, it has that at least. Your, your asshole is the size of a sewer lid. See, you gotta, you gotta take better care of that. What brand of anal bleach is the best? You, got, you have to get it professionally done. 
professionally done. Okay, no no cheaping out on the on the old on the old butthole. All right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What must come out of that guy's asshole? Oh, the guy in the chat. Yeah. The druids study the stars using an observatory powered by the star crystals. Without their work, we may never understand what brings on the dreaded eclipse every century. You know what must have been done, hero. Oh, stop. <laughs> Some druids have been isolated from the observatory and are hoping you'll be able to find and relocate them to safety. So what they're trying to say here is, like, go around the level, shoot stuff, and if you see, like, the little guys, pick them up. That's what it should say on every screen, pretty much. <sighs> the game is flirting with me. That's right. You hero, you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> it's free at the convention. Um, dep depends what booth you go to. <laughs> got You gotta know what booth. Who are the original enemies in Centipede? Spiders, fleas, scorpions, and centipedes. Yeah, that's what I know. None of this Wally shit. Or Aunt May or whatever. I'm like, Aunt May, what are you talking about? I knew, I knew that was not in the real centipede. Yeah, uh, excuse me, it had spiders and centipedes. You know? In my day... hear me the entire stream maybe you haven't heard a word i've said here let's see i'm gonna uh turn the sound down so you guys can actually hear me because i don't know if it, like the music's been too loud let me see if i can fix it Was that not right? Oh, oops. <laughs> You've never heard me so clearly? Can you turn the game up? Mm. It's perfect, big cock. You're saying big cock is perfect? Or per perfect? Sound like Kirk Cameron. Excuse me. Uh, uh, uh. My balls just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Atari cut corners? Yeah, they did. Absolutely. You like how the conversation is going? It's all over the place. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Is this? 
I don't even know what I just got. I got some kind of double laser thing. No idea. It kind of sucks, whatever it is. What? Come on. Oh, that, that's an extra life, right? I'm gonna do it. Ah! Dude, that, that's not from Centipede, is it? That, like, sound effect. What is that? What game is that from? Somebody help me out on that one. So when I get an extra life there, it's like... I know that is from, like, an old game. Is it Centipede? Like, I feel like it's not. Galaga? Mm. I don't think so. Somebody will know it. Seriously. I don't know. I can't think of it. Yeah, no, I know it's not Galaga. Seriously. Double dribble. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> Puppy power. Dribble, dribble. Puppy power. Fucking guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. Jambo, dribble. Jambo, dribble. I had that game. Somebody must have given it to me. Or it was like a present or something, because I actually owned Double Dribble. And I would put the game in. And I would just put, I would literally, this was my experience with Double Dribble. I would take the cartridge, I would put it in. I, I'd, every once in a while, like I'd be playing a different game, right? Mario or something, Contra. But I would pop in Double Dribble pretty often. And I'd put it in and I'd hit the button and it would go, Dribble, Dribble. And then I would take it out. I just like wanted to hear it because I always thought it was, like the voice was like really funny and then I would take it out and play like Contra. Probably like most of the times I played NES as a kid, I would pop in double dribble just to hear that. And then immediately take it out. I would I would I would stick it in. And then right at the right time I would I would pull it out. Crap. So sorry. Listen, if you're not used to this by now, there was there's a guy who, like watching one of my streams recently. There was somebody new, like there's somebody like brand new. YouTube suggested, believe it or not, one of my videos to somebody who never. Which I, you would think like that like almost never happens, and it never really does happen. But there like a stream over the last couple of weeks was sent to somebody found somebody new found my streams who never knew who I was before. They found it and they they were like so upset. <laughs> they were so upset with like what I was talking about because you know I'm probably talking about like jacking off somebody behind a building or like whatever you know. It, it, probably something about like shit or April O'Neil's tits or something like that or like like I'm like squirting fucking dollops that come out of my fucking long cock or whatever and you know shit like this and I'm playing and I'm playing like who the fuck knows like Age of Empires or some shit and they're like they're like they're like what is this. Who is this guy? Like, what is he talking about? Like, they just had no idea. And I was like, good. 
maybe that person will go away. <laughs> maybe that person will go away forever. She does have nice tits. See? They agree. <laughs> it does say double dribble. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. That's foul. Isn't that the name of the uh, evil agency from Darkwing Duck? <laughs> Weren't they called foul, or was that the good guys? Thing? I think the was it the good guys were foul, and there was like that chicken guy who would like be in contact with. It was like the M. You know, in James Bond, how there's like James Bond, and then there's like M and Q and all that. But there was like the there was foul. Was foul the good guys or the bad guys? I don't remember. I used to watch it when I was like ten years old or whatever, but I, haven't, I don't remember anymore. Remember the Liquidator? It's supposed to be like the Terminator and all those guys, Quacker Jack, all those all those assholes. What were we talking about? Let me, I'm just gonna play the game. Oh, fisting. Oh yeah, what about it though? Yeah, that's a thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, April O'Neil's tits. That's what we're talking about. Um, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I have anything else to really say about her tits, though. Oh shit. We always just compare April O'Neil's tits to the arcade Sega Genesis. What the hell? And Super Nintendo. If we're gonna talk about April and Neil's tits, let's let's have a, a like a what else can we is there to say? She wears that banana raincoat. How do you got? Let's see. I want to change. I want to change it because we're always talking about the same thing about April and Neil's tits. How do you guys like how April O'Neil's tits look in that in that banana raincoat? Let's talk about that. Here's here's honestly what I th what I think is she's always wearing that banana raincoat, right? Do you think maybe she could like wear something else? I think she needs like a change of clothes. I think I think that banana raincoat is fucking dirty by now. Because the Ninja Turtles, they come over and they're like, you know, they all take their turns. And, and Splinter too. Dude, she got fucking rat cum all over that fucking banana raincoat. And she's and then guess what? Guess what she wears the next day? The fucking banana rain. Look at this lava! Wally, you little bitch. Anyway, that was m my area of topic about April O'Neil. I noticed you said hell instead of fuck. Did you give up cursing for Lent? Um, shut up. She has green discharge. <laughs> Why? Because you think the turtles come like green because they are green? That doesn't necessarily make any sense. I think that because, so like we would come like white come. So the turtles... I don't think, I think it would just be like normal. Well, what's turtle cum look like? Somebody look it up. <laughs> Go to www.turtlecum.fart and let us know. <laughs> the Hulk must also have green cum then. Oh, imagine him busting a nut. <laughs> He's got his computer up. Uh, Bruce Banner. He's got he's got his computer up because he's also like a scientist, you know. And he's got a picture of Doc Doc Ock on his on his laptop. And he's like, Ooh yeah, ooh that bowl haircut. Oh! oh! And then it's fucking. 
cum splashes right through the fucking monitor and melts it. In my universe, the Hulk really likes Doc Ock. Let me have my moment, okay? That's the way I envision it. I'm getting nowhere. So this game got a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> like, these levels are tough now. Can I, like, get this? Great. So, like... I don't know how I feel about this game. Like, I kind of... I kind of like this game, and then I kind of don't. This game is okay. It's not bad. Like, I'm having fun playing it, relatively. The graphics could be, like, a little bit better. Here's, like, here's the main, my main beef with this game. I mean, I've got a couple things, but, like, okay, so you can do this, right? I think you would want to do, like, this a little bit more often like switch swap between these but they have they have that on the triangle so for me to go to that view i, I mentioned this earlier but it's this this is stupid that if they would have just made it r2 instead of triangle then this game would be like 10% better that just that one change and I know, like, maybe you could switch it in the options or something, but the fact that the default is like this is really dumb. I have, like, a real problem with the choices developers make with their default options on controls. Because, listen, there's, like, a lot of games where it's like, oh, if you, do, if you just swap the controls, you can go into the controls and change the controls, but why... Is, why isn't the default controls the good controls on game? Like, you, you play a game and you're like, oh, I'm, like, when I play Sunset Riders, I never use, like, the default. I, I go to, like, one of the other settings. Games that you definitely, like, want to change the controls to, like, another thing, it's like, no, it's, it drives me crazy. Put the good controls on the default and then sure give the player other options but like when the good control isn't the default control that just like I think that's one of my big pet peeves with games is like oh let me go to like option 4 for the controls and then like that's the good one stupid penis inspector not right now I'm trying to play a centipede I'll inspect your centipede Ernie I mean penis inspector not right now after the stream okay Go back to the bathtub. Secret Blaze 1983. Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Am I the centipede master? Well, <laughs> some people have said, but NES had two buttons. That's correct. VHS scan lines. Very good. Sega Genesis had three buttons. Thank you for that raid. Appreciate that. We think gamers will find the new control scheme innovative and challenging in a fun way. Quote, yeah, right. <laughs> Atari, Atari 2600 had one button. That's, yeah. Not for me, though, because I always use the Genesis controller. God, I'm just cool like that. Which it still would have one button, but... <laughs> but the Genesis controller, the Genesis controller has more buttons. Not for me, though. There's that sound effect. 
dude, somebody think of what that is coming from, please. I don't know, this is gonna drive me crazy. It's like an Atari game. Maybe it is just Centipede. Then another day, I'm gonna I'm gonna find the game and I'm gonna be streaming the game that has that sound effect someday. And then I'm gonna be like, man, there's another game that uses this sound effect. What is it? And then I won't be able to think of this game. It's from Custer's Revenge. Actually, that might. That might be. Wait a second. That might be. Dude, is that when you're fucking her up against the cactus? No wonder I know this so much. on the shelf. Yeah. I took the car all the cartridges out and put them on the shelf, but... Does this have the key on it? Oh, this one doesn't have a key. They came in um, cases like this, and a lot of them would have a key and a lock. This one doesn't. But this is... It's like an R. Crumb drawing here, right? Doesn't that look like R. Crumb? Which is who I wanted to be. One, one uh, back in the day. Except the the one problem, the one thing I didn't think of when I wanted to be R. Crumb is that I don't have any talent. <laughs> I forgot about that portion of it. I forgot that I had to have talent. <laughs> it really does look like that, though. <laughs> you forgot you, that you suck dick? You forgot that I suck dick? Or that you forgot that you suck dick? By the way, Mike, I really like that you added break music to your blog. Uh, not only that, but uh, working on the... the you know how on my blog I have like the list of games that I've beaten? We're gonna try to make that also have um, images and stuff. So I'm working a little bit on the blog. Actually, that's actually what I've been doing this week. You forgot that you suck cock fat ones. Oh, oh, you, you're talking about yourself, that you suck fat ones? Okay. Given out blowjobs in here or what? It seems they, uh, the, that guy right before you, I think, I think he might be. The retro category on Twitch, it's a great place to make friends. Wouldn't you say? I beat this damn level this time. All right, let's go up here. Uh, dude, I don't know. Mm. I mean, I haven't shut this off yet. I, I, I like it enough. 
The thing is, like, like I like really like love Centipede. I'll tell you what, the original Centipede, Millipede, I had the Millipede marquee right there. Um, I think I like Millipede a little bit better, but I love Centipede, I love Millipede. And that new Atari Recharge Centipede is really, really awesome. Um, and this is this is okay. Uh, it's fine. Like I'm enjoy I'm enjoying it enough, but like it's not it's not as good as like real centipede. But it's pretty fun. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. If I would have like had this game originally, like I would have been happy that I had this game. You know, I wouldn't have been upset about it. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's, it's all right. So I feel about like I had that uh, game for Nintendo 64. Is like that uh, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. You guys remember that at all? That's another one of those. It's like it's all right. It's fine. It's like not great. It's not horrible. It's just it's whatever. It's fine. The sort of era of, uh, what, I don't even know what I hit. You go to Blockbuster or whatever and rent a game, you know, and it was just, it was whatever. Ah, get him. What the hell is going on? These, like, enemies just drop on top of me and there's, like, nothing I can do about it. You know what this game is a little bit like, actually? The mutant virus? Dude, these guys just chase me, and there's like nothing I can do. I got to a hard level. This is what is this? My third time. <sighs> so how far are you in Starfield? <laughs> um, I know that I think it's a Bethesda game. I think, and it's new, right? <laughs> That's as much as I can tell you. I don't know anything about it. That's all I know. True. Um, I don't know, is it like good? I'll play I'll get to it in like fifteen years. You just beat it? Your dick? <laughs> oh, Starfield. Oh, how is it? Is it good? Won't be finished in fifteen years. Oh, is it one of these games that's like, or these like, uh, it's in, uh, the game's in like beta or whatever, and then like they never finish it? Dude, I'll tell you what, man, that's what I like about retro games. Dude, when you got, when you went to your local Sears and you bought Custer's Revenge, that was it, man. That was Custer's Revenge. There was gonna be no updates. When, when you were fucking that chick up against the cactus, that was it. There's no more than that. You just fuck her up against the cactus. There's no no DLC. That's it. Then you, after you do that, then you move on to another game. You don't have to worry about some DLC shit. And that's why Sears was great. Sears Roebuck, ladies and gentlemen. What is Sears? Nobody likes you. <laughs> Circuit City. Sir, 
Circuit City, Comp USA, Electronics Boutique, The Gateway Store, Sam Goody, Walden Books, B. Dalton, Toys R Us. So now, now we're just gonna do this. Babbage's. Yeah. I have to beat this. Can I like? Re there should be. So when I, I should be able to. Once again, it just pauses. I want to be able to reset the stage. Here, let's just do this. This is how I'm gonna do this. This is what I have to do to reset the stage. This is another thing I don't like about this game. That, where it says replay level, yes or no, right? When I hit pause, I would like it to say pause and then retry level. You, you go down and then it says retry level, yes or no. Should be able to do that right now instead of having to do that. That would be another way to fix this. Once again, menu stuff. If you're making a, a video game, seriously, if you're ever gonna make a video game, first thing you guys need to do is think about your menus, like, a lot. Here's what, here's what I think happens with these developers. They're like, okay, what kind of game do we want to make? Oh, I want to make a centipede game. And then, oh, what's it going to be? What are the levels going to be like? Oh, we're going to have a fire land. We're going to have an ice land. Before you get to thinking about what the levels are like, think about the menus, because this is the problem with every game. They're just like, oh, I'm going to make a platformer, and I'm going to have a little wizard jumping around. That's great. That's, make that step two. Step one, have all the options for the menu for the players. Have a way have a way to retry levels, have a way to change audio options, have a, have a way to do all the things that one would want to do in like uh, to remap all the controls, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Like they don't they this is that's always the, like the afterthought at the end and then they don't put in all that stuff. It's the biggest thing that plagues video games back in the game back in the era of like retro video games and dude these things I can't like get away from them and also to this day some games do it right but like I swear it's like most games don't get their menus right Why is that? Like, take a week. Look at look at the menus from like every other game, and make sure your game has all the options that all the other games have. Because then you play these games. If I like download some game on Steam. You know, it's another problem is a lot of these games they don't. You, they, you need to get, like, a bunch of controllers. You get, like, PlayStation controllers and Xbox controllers and whatever. All kinds of controllers. You better test your games with different controllers. Because I can't tell you how many games that I played on Steam. You go and you plug the controller in, and then it doesn't work or whatever. Or you have to... You have to plug the controller in before you turn the game on. Where, where it, uh, other games that I've played, sometimes you, you turn the game on and you can plug in the game after. You can plug in the game before and it works. That's how it should be. Anytime I plug in or out the, the controller, also any type of controller, the fucking controller support on these fucking games sucks. That's why consoles are nice, because you, know you know the PlayStation controller is going to work on the PlayStation console. I feel like they, they don't want to do the work to make sure that their games work with different controllers. Maybe they'll try a couple controllers out, but you know how many like, different types of controllers there are? A billion. But whatever, that's your job. You're making a game, make the controller work. I don't care. Because guess what? There are a lot of there are a lot of games that you that I buy that they get it right and they went through and they tested the controllers and they got the controllers to work, you know. 
You need to do that if you're gonna make a game. Otherwise, just don't make a game. If I plug in a controller in, into my PC, I expect it to work. The dude just like plugs in the one controller that he has, like sitting in his desk. And he's like, well, guess it works. It's like, all right, well, do, you know what? There's like a million other people that might want to play your game, and guess what? The controller doesn't work. The major problem with like indie games. It's like so fucking frustrating. Sometimes I get angry about things related to video games. <coughs> Occasionally. Usually I'm very level-headed. I need to beat this level. That would be great. on top of me. This area sucks. I can't see behind me. There, like there should be, like there should, oh, there should be a radar so that if there's a guy behind you, you have like an idea. Bottom right needs a radar. There's a little circle and has all the enemies on there, or so, like something. Is that the end of the level? Oh my god. Dude, just end it. Get me out of here. Done. Dude, that level was messed up. Now another frost thing. I wonder if I, if I do all these frost things, then it's gonna go. How like how long is this game? Is it gonna go to like? 
like a whole fire world after this. You know, it's gonna be like a whole like uh, there's gonna be ice world and then fire world. Like I'm probably like not even anywhere in this game, most likely. Here, I wanna um, see if I can see something. Give me one second. So what I wanted to know is other PS1 games that you guys might want me to play in all seriousness. Somebody had given me a list of games. If I can find it real quick. I had streamed the, uh, the Heart of Darkness game and then people were wondering if I was going to finish it. I just, the um, the way the controls were were annoying, and it's like, I feel like if I was ever going to like finish that, I really should just play the PlayStation version that has the better controls. Oh yeah, like uh, Odd World Abe's Odyssey. I was thinking about that. Oh, here we go. Here's the thing I want to say. So, okay, so somebody left me this comment on YouTube, and they said, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Um, Crash Team Racing, Spyro, which I've tried Spyro. I don't know if I'm too interested in that. Uh, Ape Escape, I've also tried that. I wasn't, I kind like, I kind of liked Ape Escape at first, but then like when you get further into it, it kind of gets like annoying. Um, Twisted Metal, IQ, I think I did IQ. Didn't I beat that game? Blasto, Blasto is a cool game. Oh, Jumping Flash. Hexen, Jersey Devil, uh, Odd World, one and two, Klonoa. Klonoa, I did a video on before, before I started live streaming, and I like uh, I like Klonoa. Maybe I would like maybe I'd play that again. Mr. Domino, Devil Dice, Army Men, Worms, Running Wild. I don't know that one. Uh, Thrill Kill. Uh, Bloody Roar, I don't know that. Centipede Frogger, Metal Slug. If I was going to play that, I'd play it on Neo Geo, probably. Um, different Bomberman games. Uh, oh, Rampage World Tour. Anyway, what do you guys think? Crash Team, Alien Trilogy. Bubsy 3D. I've done Bubsy 3D. I played enough Bubsy 3D that um, I, I don't need any more Bubsy 3D. I think we have a rage compilation of Bubsy 3D on my channel. Jackie Chan. Oh yeah, that Jackie Chan game. I liked that. Yo, I'm gonna write that down. I remember that I kind of like that game. Dude, that's a good suggestion. I tried that game once and I, I thought it was good. Good suggestion. Mega Man Legends. I don't like those. I know a lot of people like those, but like Mega Man Legends and Mega Man for Nintendo 64, like, I don't like 3D Mega Man like that. I like classic Mega Man. I mean, I, even like a step further than that, like I don't like. I, I would rather play like classic series Mega Man than the Mega Man X series. Like I like the classic better. So like to even go a step beyond like the Legends thing, like I'm like I just like classic Mega Man. So if I'm gonna play Mega Man, really, it's probably gonna be like Mega Man hacks and stuff. Apparently this game has 23 levels. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you, Matthew. Wild 9? Let's see that. I've heard of that. Let's see. Let's see. Does this look like a game I would play? Uh, ooh. Oh, I think I've tried that before. Yeah, that does look like something I would play. It's like an action side scroller thing. Dude, I'll write that down too. That looks that actually looks cool. I think I did try it once. That's a good suggestion too. 
I might mess with that. Oh yeah, Driver. Isn't that PS2? Or is there like another one? There's also one for PS1. Uh, I always thought of that as like a PS2 thing. All right, anyway, some, some good uh, suggestions. Let's keep moving here. The centipedes may be sly enough to attack the statues from multiple sides, so you'll need to keep your wits about you. So what mission am, am I on right now? Like, I wonder how far I am. Hmm. <laughs> Do I like racing games? Sometimes it depends what it is. I do like racing games, yes. Um, there's a lot of crappy racing games, though. I like good racing games. <laughs> I don't have much tolerance for, like, bad racing games. You know, uh, like, I'll play a bad, like, platformer or something, but, like, a bad racing game is, like, those usually aren't very fun, even in a bad way. Dude, is this, like, two extra guys? Customer's Revenge. I wonder if it's in another game too, but yeah, definitely I think Customer's Revenge was the one. Were the people that were making the PS1 Centipede, the people that were making this game, is that just a generic sound effect that they would just use for like anything? A royalty free sound effect? Or something? Or, or were the people that made this, they were like, yo, let's stick the fucking Custer's Revenge sound in here. I hope so. I hope that the people that made Centipede on PS1 were big fans of Custer's Revenge. That's their favorite game. They like quality. Oh, oh those 
Skull, yeah, that is, that's the first time I ever got like a clear look at that, it is Skull and Crossbones. Is that an NES game? Isn't there a, or, there's a Skull and Crossbones game on something, right? Skull and Crossbones. Or arcade or something. Oh, Super Nintendo. Is it Super Nintendo? I don't know if I ever really played that. There you go. That's my stream. That's my next stream. Skull and Crossbones. <laughs> Rattle me bones. PlayStation game that I would like. It's probably a lot of play PS1 games that I just don't give a shit about, but every like PlayStation game that I actually like enjoy. I've beaten so many NES games. One of my things, I, I really want to like start get like beating some more games on like other systems if you're thinking about like what what am i doing with this channel or whatever i mean that's like honestly probably the main thing is that it, like obviously like there's still nes games for me to beat but and that's you know that's the console i grew up with that's always been my main thing but oh here we go i guess this level's done but like um, I think I've done, I beat Bulk Slash, and there was something else. Oh, Radiant Silver Gun, I want to say. But I haven't beaten, like, that many, like, Saturn games. I want to beat more Saturn games. I want to beat more Dreamcast games, PS1, and stuff like that. Tanuki Jumpman, thank you very much for the sub. It was a sequel by Nintendo. What? Uh, had you? Yeah, they made like a, a new version of it or something, right? Tanuki. I don't know. He's talking about Clue Clue Land. Irritating stick. I'll tell you about an irritating stick. Is um, and you're gonna talk? It'd be like, oh, his cock or whatever. No. So the Fester's Quest. Not Fester's Quest. Fester... 
let's say Adam's Family or Fester or whatever, that like arcade game. Do you remember that arcade game and it's like Fester and there's like a fucking metal pole and you're supposed to hold on to the fucking pole and it shakes and then you get like blisters on your hands? It was like the, it was like around the time of like uh, Turtles in Time and all that. Dude, I haven't seen one of those machines in forever. Do you guys remember that machine? I don't know. Is that is that Adam's family? Hold on. Uh, Adam's family generator. Is that it? Electrifying. Adam's family arcade amusement game released. 1999. It was 1999? Dude, that, no way. That's, like, way too late. That's wrong. 1992. That sounds more correct. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think I'm looking at the... Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's not the generator. Wait, where is it? Oh, maybe that... Wait, what? Here, this one. Adam's Family Electric Shocker. Yeah, and it's like, okay, it's called, it's called the new Adam's Family? The new Adam's Family Generator, I guess is what it's called. I don't, I didn't remember it has two. So there's two, um, like, sticks on it. And then, I guess two people could play at the same time. And then, um... He has the light bulb in his mouth, and I guess you're trying to get it to the top so the light bulb goes off or something. Dude, that game. That's the anyway. That's the irritating stick. Is that weird? It is weird. Mm -hmm. Timon and Pumbaa games. There's a Space Invader game in the bundle. Wait a second, there's a Timon and Pumbaa Space Invaders game? Wait, what are you talking about? I want to know about this. Dude, I'll play, I will play Timon and Pumbaa Space Invaders all day long. Is that a real thing? What, how do you play that? What's that on? <laughs> like, what? Never play Faster's Quest again? I played it enough, I think I'm good. I'm not, uh, he's not going to answer me now. What is this Timon and Pumbaa game? Oh, wait. Here we go. Timon and Pumbaa... Oh, Super Nintendo? Okay, I'll look. I'll look into that. There's, this, there's it's a Super Nintendo game with Timon and Pumbaa. It has pinball and Space Invaders, dude. All right, we're gonna, I'm writing that down too. We're playing. We're gonna play that. Is it awful? I love. I love that suggestion. <laughs> Modded PS2 mic cough. Well, I have a modded PS2. What about it? I have a lot of modded systems. Mike's writing it on his dick. Timon and Pumbaa. Jungle games for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> Developed by... Thai Tex Design Studios, seventh level, also available on Microsoft Windows, and published by Disney Interactive Studios, released in 1995. Windows version available on Windows 
95, 98, Windows ME, Windows XP. <laughs> One of the Druid's prize inventions is the moon polarizer, which may one day help prevent the dreaded eclipse. But now the centipedes have found the polarizer and they are doing their best to destroy it. And the star crystals that provide power, as you may have inferred, you must stop them at all costs. As you may have inferred, you must stop them. At least they said that. Dude, the, the dude who was writing this up, he was like, he's t he, they made him do this. They're like, all right. Mission six. What am I going to write? It's the same stuff. All right. The druids are on the moon, and there's an eclipse, and there's centipedes, and... You destroy the, the watch out for the star crystal oh my god oh my god as you may have inferred shoot stuff <laughs> that guy the dude who wrote that text hated his job <laughs> he's like this is stupid there doesn't need to be text in this game but they may, they're making me put in story into centipede I'm getting a paycheck. I shouldn't complain, but I'm gonna complain anyway. This is how this is how I'm gonna get back at them by typing as you as you would have guessed, shoot the stuff. Unleash another superbug to destroy the moon polarizer. Perhaps a relation to the ant. Be careful, hero. Oh you. <laughs> You're sick to death of this ice bullshit. I am too. There's like too many ice levels. By now we should have like been on a space level and been on whatever, a volcano and anything different. Is it going to be another ice? Mm -hmm. is it like, dude, the whole game is in the ice. Do you think they just didn't want to design more, like, levels? They're like, all right, we designed the ice one. There's going to be a lot of ice stages because we don't want to have to, like, design other textures and stuff. We, we wish that we were working on, like, the new Street Fighter or something, but we got... We got stuck on the Space Invaders game that we don't care about. It's so why you get like people that care about Space Invaders. They didn't do that. Or Centipede, I mean. See, they didn't get people that care about Centipede. You need to, you need to get the right development team. Like, we don't care. You're just gonna get another. You're gonna get another ice level. There needs to be 75 ice levels because we don't care. What do you think about that? They're like resentful. They're like, I got into doing video games, not to make a centipede game for PlayStation. This, is, this wasn't my vision. And then they then they made this game and they completed this game and then they, like, maybe they worked on, like, one other game and then they gave up. They were like, you know what, forget it, I don't want to make video games anymore. I thought that this was, this was, I thought this was my dream. And then they got a landscaping business. And then they made a fortune in the landscaping business or like real estate. They made like a fortune and they were like, oh yeah, man, dude, they're like out there like mowing the lawn one day, making like, they're like making bank. They're like, oh dude, I had to make all these ice levels in the centipede game like back in the, back in the 90s. It sucked. And they, they paid me like shit money. Fucking sucked. So I just, you know what I did? I made like a thousand ice levels because I just, I hated it. 
I thought that was the thing, man. Man, I always wanted to be like creative, and I thought I'd be like, like, I'll make my mark on the video game industry. And then I get a job in the video game industry, and they, they just have me like do another centipede. There already was centipede. Everybody knows centipede, like the real centipede in the arcade. They had me working on this centipede game, and I'm like, this is not what I want. Uh, this is not what I want to be doing. So I went into landscaping. You know what happened when I did that? I'm making, I'm making bank, I'm making a fortune. I make more money in two weeks doing landscaping than I did the entire time I made that centipede game, man. I like to, that's the conversation I like to think happened. totally not actually be the case. Maybe the person made this game and was like, oh, this was great. I loved working on the Centipede game. I have fond memories of making that Centipede game on PlayStation. That might be how it actually is. But in my mind, it, it, like, the, the, this dude made like 700 ice levels. When you're on like level 700 ice level, I, something tells me that you're, you're just stop caring. Like, all right, here's another ice level. Unless they did care and their boss was like, there has to be like 60 ice levels. And then like the management ruined it. But maybe they cared in the beginning. Because, dude, like I've been doing these ice levels. I feel like I grow a fucking beard here. Like literally from the beginning to the stream, I probably fucking grew a fucking beard. All these fucking ice levels. Oh, come on. Now I gotta prank Mantis. Zorak. It's Zorak! Everybody wants to be like Space Ghost. What happened? Also, I wonder if this, this guy is like resetting every time or what. Mm. Can I not, like, blow that thing up? Uh, he, like, lands on top of me. Stupid. Can I get, like, any type of item or anything? this thing. There he is. They don't give you like any items to fight with. Like, give me some rockets. Now, alright, I gotta take these rockets all the way. Now I gotta go through this again! So I feel like the developer that made this, he really didn't. He really. I would do reset level, but the game doesn't have it. Because the developer didn't care to put that in there. 
because this was a, this was a job for him. This was a paycheck. It's just a paycheck. Dude, th this is horrendous. You should be able to hop on this crap. Dude, what is wrong with this? Okay, let's start this level over here. They have no reset stage. Because I need the lives to get through it, so like... Come on, it's so slow. There. It's like... I lose my fucking mind. They literally... Just drop bugs on your head. And there's no... no you're not avoiding that. Just gonna drop bugs on your head. It's, it's, it's like... I think they were doing that crap in Gauntlet, where enemies literally just like spawn on top of you. That's great. I love when enemies spawn on top of me, basically. They just drop a bug on my head, and there's no time to avoid anything. It's always fun. It's always great. Everybody loves that. You- Oh! Stupid! I don't have any lives left! Now I need it to... Good. Just... Come on. Come on. Start this over. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna beat this praying mantis piece of crap if I don't have like 10 lives. Oh! Oh! Here we go! They, they gave up. They got to this and they gave up. They gave up before this. But they really gave up here. No items. No nothing. Say, so go fuck yourself. There should just be a message that comes up on the screen that just says, go fuck yourself. That's, that's how I feel about this. Oh, just go fuck yourself. Oh, oh, okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. I mean, like, really. These doors never open. Dude, those, 
can't, you can't even kill them! bitch this is fucking stupid how long before Mike hits the reset button I should have like two hours ago Thank you. 
Dude! Is this the exit? Finally. That better be the end of the ice. This is so stupid. Somebody asked, do I like this game better than regular centipede? No, real centipede is better. Oh, look at this. Cent this is centipede? It's like with that kind of animation, the only person that they're trying to appeal to is like, like, like idiot, like eight year olds or something, right? Dude, if you're, you like, you would quit before you saw, if I was eight years old and I was playing this, I wouldn't make it this far. I would have turned it off. Infernium. Is the hottest of all lands. Now we're gonna get to the the volcano stuff. Known to our people, and it's the area where we mine the precious star crystals. The queen centipede hopes to disrupt the druid's work studying the dreaded eclipse, and has sent her minions to destroy your star crystal extraction operation. You must make sure they fail miserably. You know what game I hate, I think, is that uh, Solar Jet Man. It was, like, fun until that... It just... The whole thing was ruined by the, the ending of the game. They give you this one chance with the golden warp ship. Otherwise, like... There's a, like, it's, the stages and stuff are, like, fairly fun, but, man, the ending of that game is the biggest bunch of crap. <sighs> Deadly mushrooms. the sewer level. Yeah, where's the sewer level? Why is there no sewer level in this? I think it should be a hundred stages long, too. What flying insect is indigenous to Infernium? Oh, the dragonfly. Obviously. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now we're in hell. I thought the ice level was hell. Now we're in hell. But that's alright, because the dragonfly is... invulnerable to... In, in, indigium, or whatever it said to me. Are these good? I'm assuming that's a good house. What? In Infernium. Indigenous to Infernium, though. That that information helped. What is this? 
What is this? Look at, look at, ah! <laughs> say retro video games are like better we're like oh yeah retro video games are so much better than modern games don't show them that example that's not the example oh yeah they're, they are so much better in my day <clears throat> I swear I swear they were you believe me right It's like the Smurfs. These levels are insane now. getting intense they're like oh we better put some music in here I feel like the rest of the game didn't even have music they put music onto a stage that nobody's ever even gonna get to nobody's played this level there's like one guy there's like one dude he's like oh yeah I play I play that centipede game there's me and that one dude Drop the door! Ah! Stupid! 
Is there? Somebody look it up. Seriously. The other one, the ice world had like eight or something. Oh, come on! Right when I started it! Is this a good guy to collect? I don't even know what these little green things are. What is this? Wait, what? Whoa. Can I kill this? Dude. 
this is the worst. Here. Alright, I killed him. This part is off. This is the worst thing. I'll, I might never not get by this because this game because of this. Is that like... not raising and lowering. Oh, oh, oh. Now I make it. Now that I have no... So you do go that way. I was like starting to wonder if that's even the right way to go. It is the right way to go. Now I just have to do that without ever dying. No problem. Give me an extra life. 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 Give me an item. Give me anything. Look at, look at, I'm shooting off, uh, how many rockets am I shooting off? You see how many fucking rockets I just blasted off? I just fucking delivered that whole fucking load onto these fucking guys. And still. Great. Do this crap. This is hell. They made 3D remake of Centipede 17 years ago after the original game was made. They made it worse. Great job. Yeah. Yep. I'm surprised you're not playing the Dreamcast version. Well, that one might be like 2% better than this, so I would want to play the worst one. Instead of the one that's probably like 1% better. Dude. Ah! Dude, they, ah! 
Okay? already like slid off of it. Look at this. There's nowhere I can go, huh? Oh, great. Okay, let's start this over. Cool game, cool game. No, no retry stage. Because they didn't care. I don't care either. This game sucks. This game sucks. <laughs> like, this game fucking sucks. Earlier I was like, I kind of like it, I kind of like it, but no, it's bad. It's real fucking bad. Laughing my ass off this game is shit. I like want to like this game. I really do. I want I want to like it. I like the idea of it. It's just not done well. It's a it's a cool idea. It's executed horribly. That's it. You see this finger? Never again. Don't ever play that game. It's done. I could sit there for like hours and I could, you know, I could beat it, but like, it's just now. I'm done. Let's look at some other games. I wanted, I really wanted to like that game. Like, I really wanted to like it. Fucking trash. Fucking 85 levels of ice. Like, fuck off. What were we gonna try out? Hang on a second. Didn't I write some crap down? Oh yeah, that Wild 9 game. Hold on. Let's look at that. I'm gonna try a couple. Now I'm gonna just gonna try a couple games out, and then I can see like maybe I can find something else that I would like actually like like maybe. I never know though until I'm like a little bit like I have to play a game for a while to really know if I really like a game. Like the Centipede one at first, I was like okay maybe, but then like after you know give me like an hour or two, then I'm like oh because it could be the same thing for this. Like maybe I'll pop on Wild Number Nine and then I play it for like ten minutes. I'm like oh yeah that's cool maybe I'll stream it. But then I find out then I actually like stream the game for real and do like a real full stream. Then I'm like two hours into it and then there's some stupid crap. You know you never know. <sighs> So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop on some games semi-briefly now, and we'll just look at some games. Maybe I can find something for another stream that, like, I would like. This stream, this stream today was mostly about me deciding once and for all whether or not if I, like, like that Centipede game or not. Now I know for sure. I fucking don't like it. Rigo Dev, thanks for gifting us up to World Painting, the Immortal Armis... Ishmaru and Mandu Luna 70. You guys got gift subs from Rigo Dev. Thank you, Rigo Dev. I appreciate that. So we're looking for good games, not shovelware. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I don't care, like, what it... Um, we're looking for something I w would enjoy. Like, sometimes there's, like, crappy games that I enjoy. So, not necessarily. Uh, we're looking for something that I would like, is what we're looking for. Is that me? Covered in garbage?
do 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 dude is that the internet explorer wait what isn't that the internet explorer thing yeah it's like backwards though <laughs> what is this internet explorer crap Big feet, big boots. <sighs> All right. Let's try and control that. Okay. Uh, by the way, also, is this like? Do they want a control stick for this? Because I'm using a D-pad. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a control stick thing or what. I think I was thinking of a different game. Maybe I have never played this, actually. I think I've never played this. There was, like, another run-and-gun game. Oh, shit, maybe that was... That could have been, like, a different system. I'm thinking of a totally different, like, run-and-gun game that kind of has this perspective. I don't think I've played this. Collect energy orbs to build up your rig power meter. Okay. It's like your coins. I mean, that's fun to do. doing this like tutorial where you don't have you don't have to read this you, if you want to you can jump into it and read it or you can figure it out for yourself that is how you do it that right there is how you do it like tutorial stuff you put shit like that you like you jump into it and then the fucking message comes up or you can just pass it perfect that's that's great this, this is, that's awesome. Take, take note on that, like, developers. Holy crap. Oh, what, like, what, did I get stuck under it? Okay, I like this game, I think. I think this is cool. I might, okay, so I might stream that. That's a good suggestion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a different game. I, I was thinking of a different game. Um, that game's cool, at least so far. I like that, good suggestion. Can I sing the Mr. Bucket song, please? No. There, like, the video is, like, on the internet. Go watch the video if that's what, like, you want. 
And I really like, repeat the things that are in the video. Like, you want like, the Bugs Bunny thing. Like, go put the Bugs Bunny video on. Like, it's just, go watch that. If you slam the enemy into the ground three times and let him go before the fourth hit, he'll crawl on the ground with broken legs. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably stream that game, like, sometime soon. Yeah, I know about Alundra. Mr. Driller's cool. Yeah, our tape Delta's cool. Silhouette? What is a silhouette one? I don't know that one. Let's see. Silhouette Mirage. I don't think I've played this. Oh, it's Treasure. Oh crap, does this not work? <sighs> Hold on. I gotta write down, the, I'll try to fix this game. Sorry, I'll have to fix that one. There's, there, there's some of the games, they're like broken. Tested every one of them. Cos1973, thanks for the sub. Did anybody ever use the CD player? Yeah, I think some people did. Uh, what else do you want me to try? If it works. <laughs> Pink Panther. Da 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 Like I said, I'm just trying things briefly here, so. I've seen this logo before. I don't know if I, have I played this? I don't know if I have. That's how I like to stand before, before I stream. That was a run and gun with a weird throwing mechanic. I think I've seen this game in like magazines and stuff, but I don't know that I've ever tried it. That's how I feel. Oh wait, what? <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Okay. Oh. of it so far. Huh. It's like I haven't streamed this. Like, why should I ever... They're like, oh, you play uh, Baldur's Gate 3 or whatever. What's the other star field? Why should I even bother if I haven't streamed this, you know? It's like, I've got so many games to play. I'll just play shit like this. I think, like, for me, like, they could just stop making video games for, like, 20 years. I'm, I'm like, good for, like, a really long time. 
I probably don't need any more video games. Like, ever. I got plenty. You know? <laughs> That's what I feel. How about this? You get, like, you get, like, one a year, a year or something. One new one a year, if, like at this point, like and make it. It better be like amazing. Like I don't like even. even I don't even need that. You know, there's plenty of old stuff to play. That's how I really feel. I got this backlog of games that's like I'll be. I literally will be dead. Like seriously, I will die and not play all the games that I are, that already exist right now. I will not play all the games that I want to play. That already, I don't need new games. It's just it's just not necessary. And they might like you know somebody could come out with a new game and it might be like awesome, but yeah, but there's a hundred thousand other awesome games. That you know, I haven't fucking played yet, so the fuck, why do I need more? Why? Because I have to play the newest, latest game? That's gonna. This is gonna blow up, right? Is this like a tripwire? I'm gonna do it anyway because I wanna say. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is that pie? Is that a cream pie? I just did a cream pie. Yo, I like this game. This is fun. I wonder if there's bosses and shit. I can already tell you that I like this game. I would. I'd, Fucking play. I wonder how long this is. All right, so like, all right, I've seen enough that I. It's cool. I like it. Uh, so now we have another one. What was it called? Ninja something. That's pretty cool. I feel like maybe the Wild Nine game. Maybe I liked it a little bit more, but that game's cool too. Shadow of Darkness. What is happening right now? Like, <laughs> oh, I j I started that game over again. Is what happened. All right, what next? Yeah, I know in the hunt, and I know our tape delta. I know all that stuff. Screaming Mad George? Is this a real thing? Are you make? Did you make that up? I think, I think somebody just made it up. They're making up their own. <laughs> oh yeah, Strider too. Is that the one I like? There's like an there's a there's one Strider game. There's Strider there's a bunch of Strider games and some of them I don't like and some of them there's like one that I like. I think it might be Strider too. Or at least the arcade version of it or something. There we go. I think I know I don't like the one on Genesis. From what I remember, but I feel like I think Strider 2 Arcade. I like. Let's see if I like this one. Mother. 
Right? Here's another. I gotta fix this. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Another day for that. Damn. Aladdin? Is it any different than the one I already beat on Genesis? Oh, it's a special effects guy? Okay. Blazing Dragons, you might like the humor. I'll try. If it works, half these games aren't like working. Uh, Blazing Dragon, okay, let's say, come on, work. What if I did full load? That might be the problem. I have to give it the full load. Theme park. I should mess with that. You know, I was playing Age of Empires. You know, there's a Star Wars game that's like Age of Empires. Forget the title of it, but they did like a Star Wars Age of Empires kind of game. You know, RTS. Zelda CDI. Family jewels. We must defeat Sir George's men. Gas flame, establish a defense perimeter. Bernadette. <laughs> I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange. Oh, but yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers. Dynamics? I don't know about this. The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camelot mine? Hmm, my spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information. The graphics are very cool. Reminds me of like an old. DOS game or something. Yeah. It's got that sort of vibe. My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze level was pure genius. I just want to test the snooze level one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Oh. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he survived, that you can't be your This might be a quality oh, game you jingle bells? for this type of a game, but I'm not... Tell the king I'm on my way. I'm not looking for this kind of thing right now. It's about my request. So I'm going to move on. Tomorrow. But, like, that's probably cool. You know, I have to be, like, in the mood to do that kind of thing, though. Which I'm usually not. Um, the animations and stuff were very cool, but I don't know. I like action 
you know? Mike is not a point and click type of gamer. Not usually. If it's once in a blue moon, if I, I like, if I get like in a mood, like maybe I'll I play stuff. Sometimes I'll like dip into other genres, but I have to like be in the mood for it. And I'm not like right now. It's like I'm usually not like a JRPG guy and stuff like that, but I mean I have streamed like Final Fantasy a few times on stream. Like if I'm like in the mood, but I'm usually like not. All right, nobody can stop Mr. Domino. They want me to try out. Please work. I must wonder if I went back to a couple of those games that didn't work and I did the full load, if it would work. Okay, this one might work. Come on, good. Corbin County Jr., thank you very much for the sub. My guardy played Intelligent Cube. I think I beat that game. This is gonna be, I, I don't know how to play it. This is gonna be what this is. Yeah, I feel like, I think I tried this on stream once before and I have no idea how to play it. I'll just mess with it for a minute. Maybe I can figure it out, I don't know. It doesn't look like super confusing. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm like dropping dominoes behind me, I guess, like. I have no idea what's going on. This is ass. I mean, maybe it's fun. I don't know how to play it. I have no idea how to play it. I'd have to like look up information on it or something. It makes you want to break out dominoes. Yeah, it looks confusing. I don't know. If I learned how to play it, maybe it's cool. I don't know. Retry Strider with full load. I, I'm gonna do that, let's see. I feel like it's still not gonna work, but let's just see if that does fix the problem. Then I'll at least know if that works or not. Probably doesn't. It's probably not gonna change anything. It doesn't make a difference. I have to fix the actual file. All right, what else? Omega Boost. Oh, dude, I think I've tried that before and I liked it. That's a good idea. Let me put on Omega Boost. I think I played that on stream one time. Maybe. It's like a shmop, right? What kind of game am I looking for? I don't know. Zoop? Oh yeah, I play Zoop. Zoop is like the, you're shooting from the sides and the top and all that. It's also on Super Nintendo, isn't it? I'm just gonna go, let's just say. Don't make up 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I have like, seen this before. Oh, yeah, and then you, like... You can, like, lock on to things or whatever, right? Oh, yeah, dude. I remember this, kind of. This game's awesome. I love this. I play. I streamed this like one time before, and I really liked it. I lo I like games like this where you like lock on to stuff like that, where you hover over. A thing. You know what's like that is that that game on Wii, like the Sin and Punishment. Remember that at all? I streamed that. I like that game mechanic where you do like this like lock on and. You know, you hover over things and it does like a lock on and you fire. Like, I, I always, that's always fun, I feel, for me. This is, I like this game. It's a good suggestion. I forget, I, I guess, like, at one point I did, like, a trying out PlayStation game stream or something. And I think I tried this during that. Probably played a bunch of crappy games, though. Man, can you eventually, like, destroy all these? Oh, don't be done. Oh, okay. I was like trying to destroy all these first before I go for the sun or eye thing. All right. Whoa. Oh yeah, and then, wait, where's the, that's the boost. This game. This is awesome. Warning. Now is the warning? What? Now we got a boss? That wasn't the boss before? Alright, here's what's gonna happen is that I like this game, I'm gonna wanna play the whole thing. So, another day, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play through and beat that game. I can. I'm like. I started like really playing it. I was like, wait, I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that game's great. Omega Boost. See, we're finding a bunch of stuff that I gotta get that Strider working. So, hang on. Damn it. Okay, so, so far, like, Wild 9, Omega Boost. Uh, the Ninja game was cool. We got se several things. I'll do, like, one or two more suggestions, and, and then I'll stop. Raystorm. I played Raystorm before, and I, I like that game a lot. That's a really good one. But at least now I got some suggestions for some games I can stream that I actually like. It, it keep, people keep talking about Aladdin. Is it? Oh. I streamed, I did a video with Tony with this Aladdin game. That's right, this game's different. It's This is like a 3D Aladdin. Hold on a second. I just remembered. See, that's the thing. I've been, like, doing videos for, like, what, like, almost 20 years now? You know? It's like, I can't remember every single thing. But literally, I have done a video about this Aladdin game. Where is it? <sighs> uh... 
Oh, um, is it like Di- it's gonna be Disney? Hold on. Here it is. The, of course, they do. Wait, well, another thing. Hold on. Let's look. At, you know, you know me, my Disney stuff. I like my Disney stuff. I want to see what they got for Disney. Listen, if you want to see, you can look it up on YouTube. Do Mike Matei Aladdin PS One. I've I've did a, did a video on that before. I didn't beat it or anything, but like I I tried that and it was I don't remember if I liked it or whatever, but it was alright I guess. Uh, I did a video on this Donald Duck on Quackers too a long time ago. I, I think I actually beat that game. That's another one before I started streaming. Little Mermaid 2? Dude, like... What is this? Hang on a second. I want to see this Lion King. I hope it works. Is this a different Lion King game? Or is this a Super Nintendo game again? Genesis, whatever. It's got like the movie on it. Can I just play the game? <sighs> My God. I don't want to play it just because of the loading. <sighs> Good morning, Master Simba. Oh, it is different. Master is waiting for you on top pride rock. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. Or if I did, I forget. What? I don't think I knew this existed. By the way, again, I'm using like a D-pad, so this is probably they want. They might want like an analog stick. I don't know. This might have been like a later. The graphics aren't bad. Have a great king. You gotta master the ability to jump. Pressing the jump button will take yeah, you to no high shit. places. For a longer jump, get a running. Oh, you stop. can't skip. Thank Shut you, up. You're the best. Shut up. Poor girl. Shut up. Dude, you're gonna tell me to hit X to jump? It just told me hit X to jump. Okay. That I'm done. Hit X to jump. Oh really? I know, it's for kids. But come on, even if you're a kid, dude, okay. You play you put on Super Mario Brothers when you're a kid. You hit a couple of the buttons and then Mario jumps. You don't need a character. Then, like, what? You put on Super Mario Brothers for the first time and you're like six years old. And then you're like, I don't know what to do with the controller. Cause, you know, because I've never played a video game. Fine. But then, like, Luigi has to, like, walk out and he's like, Hello, Mario. Have you ever looked at the buttons on the controller? I can't do a Luigi impression. And then, like, it has to, like, have a paragraph, and he's like, 
There's A button and B button. That's my Luigi. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fuck that game. Oh yeah, that Jersey Devil thing. Yeah, somebody was mentioning that too. Uh, something. I, need. I hope this works. I'll just do full load. Please work, please work. At least I'm writing down the ones that don't work and then I'll, I'm gonna fix them. I've been going through all my NES games and like making sure every single one works so that we don't have to deal with that in the future. So I've been trying to fix that. I don't even remember what I put on, what did I just put on? Oh yeah, Jersey Devil, let's say. That's not New Jersey. Well, let's see. That could be a pizza place? Okay. That could be New Jersey. Are there any strip malls? Is there a gas station? Okay, bank. Okay, accurate. This doesn't, this doesn't look like New Jersey to me so far. <laughs> Gotta say. Oh, museum. Oh yeah, all the museums in New Jersey, there's so many. Just what I think of when I think of New Jersey museums, yeah. I don't think I don't think I've ever been to a museum in New Jersey. I'd like there, there probably is one somewhere, but like, dude. And I know what you're gonna say like, oh, it's like just a fantasy game, and he's just he's just the Jer Jersey Devil, and it doesn't actually. I know, but like. You have an opportunity here to like have the stages like actually be like New Jersey thing. I still want there to be. I want there to be because I'm from New Jersey. I want there to be like some kind of New Jersey game where it actually is like New Jersey. Like, where's the Garden State Parkway? How come one of the, is one of the stages like Atlantic City or something? Like, <laughs> come on. I like that it's like a horror theme. It's kind of cool. The graphics are nice. I don't know what these things are. Uh, Push this, like, okay, I'm like already stuck. Oh, okay. it's like a hover. I don't know, I'm stuck. <laughs> Can I push this? 
Oh, you can. All right. Can I pull it? If I can pull it. Oh, maybe I like. I can. Oh, wow, oh, I thought I. This works really weird. Oh, there you go. Alright, I'm out. Okay. This is a where, where do you go game. is what he is like Darkwing Duck there's a bug museum in New Jersey yeah that would be what it would be right oh there's a, ni there's a nice museum with a bunch of bugs in it <laughs> Jazz Jackrabbit too isn't that a PC game though I played that wasn't it a rabbit with a devil tail was it a rabbit I don't even know. Maybe. Brown bricks in Minecraft. Ha ha ha. Okay. Go watch my, like, Minecraft playthrough where I beat the game with Inspector Gadget. Ha ha ha. Where were all the tolls? Yeah, exactly. Where are the tolls? Played Intelligent Cube. <sighs> Samurai Gunman. Okay. You would think it would be right there. Uh, I don't. Is, are we doing PlayStation One games? Is that a PS One game? If it is, I don't think I have it. Sorry. VIP now. Turnabout? Turnabout intruder? I turnabout. I don't know it. Let's try. Saves the earth. Oh, I'm sure that's great. Wawa sells pizza now. Yeah. It's not like it used to be. I tried a piece of it. I don't like it. Station pizza, yum yum. I mean, Wawa's not really a gas station. I mean, it, some of them are, like it has gas station. It's like Wawa's different. All right, let's see this. I'm gonna not know how to play this game, right? Oh, just get it to there, right? Okay. What this was turnabout? I like how 
just starts. It didn't have to explain anything. It's like obviously you can figure it out. Just spend the thing. Like it didn't have to have some care. Some character come out. Some cartoon character and tell you a bunch of crap you don't need to hear because you, you can like because you, you're a human being and you can figure it out. <laughs> you have to have like some cartoon cat come out. If you rotate the level, and then it has like crack jokes. Yeah. It's a crab. This is fine. And it probably gets more interesting as it goes, I'm sure. A nice little puzzle game. So I bet you this game gets tough. It's cool. I mean, if you want like a, a little puzzle game, it's fine. I'm I'm fine with it. It's cool. Project Overkill. Yeah, I know Blasto. Blasto is cool. I'm trying to find stuff that like I don't personally like really know about too much. I don't know this Project Overkill thing. Let's try this. As cool as the slide puzzles. Um, I mean that was no. I was I'm fine with that turnabout game. Um, slide puzzles are different. I don't like slide puzzles. Come on, game. This is not gonna work. Come on. I think we got it. Konami. I've tried this before. Is this where there's like tanks and shit? Oh my god, does that entire thing have to fill this up? Oh, okay. Oh no, wait, this is totally not what I thought. Oh! Wait a second. Maybe this is awesome. <laughs> Hang on. Gotta get used to these controls, but... Okay. Uh, these controls are like super weird. Maybe I, maybe I can get used to it. to these uh, graphic or uh, controls I mean but so far this is, this is cool I like how gory it is I thought maybe you touched that or something oh um I assume I'll die if I do that drop wall first Oh. 
It, that was L2. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That, is there. Wait a second. Okay, this is it a different gun or something? I don't know how to like reload. I have to figure the controls out, but I, I might like this. More my speed. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it, but something about this game I really like. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, definitely has a vibe to it that like I'm really into. <laughs> So, seriously though, the, uh, I guess you just switch to that, and then that's your gun. Dude, this is awesome. You guys holding out on me and tell me about this before. Oh. Whoa. What is this project? Is the project overkill? Yeah, yeah, I like this. So this is why I gotta do these kind of streams where we actually just try some stuff out because you never know. I'm weird. Like, it's like that Jersey Devil game. On a different day, I might like play that and be like into it. But like, I don't know. Um, depends on my mood too. Project Overload. Though. This is cool. I'm writing that down. So we got another one. Finding a bunch of stuff that I like here. Hell of a lot better than that crappy centipede game. I'm so disappointed by that. Like that, somebody could make a centipede game that's like that. That's good, but that ain't it. <laughs> Need a green key. Oh. It's just this like this bald dude, like Lex Luthor running around. That's fine. That's cool, though. I have it written down. I, li I like that. I have to, like, mess with it and figure the controls out a little bit better, but I almost wonder if that is better with, like, an analog stick or something. I'm, I'm into that, though. Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I fucking hate that shit. Like, <laughs> with fucking passion. Strikers. Haven't I played it? That's just a, sh a shmup, right? Silent Bomber. Tempest X? 
Well, Tempest Axe is that's like Tempest. Uh, that's like the Jaguar one, right? It's just like this PlayStation's version of it. Syndicate Wars is similar to that, is it? I guess I can try it. If I have it, if it works. Oh, you know what, too? There was um, there was actually a Star Trek game. Um, yeah, this. The Star Trek Invasion. Which is, seems, like, somewhat interesting. Um, what was it? Syndicate? Yeah, I know about the Three Stooges PlayStation port. Yeah, I played Symphony of the Night. I don't... Oh, God. This game doesn't work either. What is this? Syndicate? down these ones that don't work. Damn it. I like real Castlevania. Not like Metroidvania. Castlevania. Mickey's Wild Adventure. Future Cop. Alright, I'll try that Future Cop one. I literally just tried Project Overkill like two minutes ago. It was cool. Goofy's Fun House. Is that real? Electronic Arts. Goofy's Fun House. I think I've played this before. This is X. X1 Alpha.
towards the yellow, maybe. Can I open this? Ah. Holy crap. What if you can get health somehow? Yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't think I ever played this before either. This is a good suggestion. What's this called? Oh, this is the future cop one, right? It's like trying to be like Ed, Ed 209, like Robocop or something. supposed to be that one that I don't understand, I'm sure, but the camera angles work nicely. What is this? It's like an upgrade or something? How do I get back? Wait, I can't move. I literally can't move. I'm completely stuck. Come on. There. That sucked. I don't know how you... If that's like a thing you can get, I don't know how. They never stop coming. Dude, that yellow thing. That has to be something I get, right? Oh, maybe I drop down. Oh, hang on. Maybe if I go like this. Come on. There. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I thought that was like a shield thing or something you're supposed to get. I don't get it. I'm almost dead too, huh? Does this drop? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't know. It is a shield thing. Yeah, I don't understand how to get it. You can't remember what button. I'm trying to get it again. Oh, fucking, I was going over to it. I don't know how you get that. Well, it's cool. I don't know. I'd have to practice it and figure out how the hell to play it. <laughs> it's fun, though. Anyway, I guess I, I'm going to stop there. Um, we got some good suggestions here. I'm definitely down for Wild 9 and Omega Boost and... Project Overload and Ninja and a bunch of things. And I might try out the Timon and Pumbaa game on Super Nintendo. So we got a lot of good suggestions. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the stream. That was it. Um, and we'll be uh, not playing Centipede for PlayStation anymore. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for the suggestions. Bye.